Hey, how's it going everybody? So this video is going to be quite short compared to the previous ones. Um, basically, I'm going to walk you through an implementation of a URL filtering on a Palo Alto box. So first, let me show you my settings on my on the uh, virtual box for this particular Palo Alto machine. And let's see settings, and then all right. So as you can see. We we have um, four gigabytes of memory and then two virtual processors. Um, so I'll I gave it four network adapters. Um, so you can see, and so that's pretty much it. So after you start up this topology, uh, first thing you need to do is that you need to give the um, the Palo Alto box, the, by default, the first interface of the ENS0 is going to be the administration interface. So you need to get that situated, and you do that by going into the configuration mode. And then we say set device config and the system IP address. Um, we're going to say is 10.10.10.1. And the net mask. Gonna be two five five two five five two five five zero. Um. Well, we don't really need a um, default gateway for this, so just commit. And now, um, this um virtual machine right here is the one we're gonna use to uh, manage our box. So let's jump onto it. It's uh, Linux P. Say All right, let's go ahead and give this an IP. Should be ten dot ten dot ten dot fifty. Okay, so that's good. All right, so now we should be able to connect to the Palo Alto through this machine, and it's HTTPS ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Okay, so there it is. Say advance, proceed. All right, so so this this is the dashboard, uh, and so let's go over to the network and see what we have. So we wanna we wanna enable these two interfaces, Ethernet one slash one and one slash two. So let's go ahead and do that. Under the, the interface type, we're gonna say it's a layer three interface or basically a routed interface, and let's say the virtual route is gonna be the default one, and we're gonna go ahead and create a security zone. We're gonna call it trust. And say okay. So the IP is gonna be this is the one slash one, so ten dot ten dot twenty. Ten dot ten dot twenty dot one slash twenty four. And uh so we'll go ahead and create a management profile just so we can allow all these services through this interface and we're gonna say we're gonna name it and
to us. Okay. And let's go ahead and do the same for the for the other interface. It's um, um interface type layer three, which will router default and the security zone is trust. The IP is gonna be ten dot ten dot thirty dot one slash twenty four and the management profile is allowable. Alright, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and commit to this. Alright, so let me bring up the other uh, Windows machine, which is this one. And um, all right, so this should be ten dot ten dot twenty. Fifty. And default gateways dot one. Alright, so now we should be able to ping the Palo Alto box from here. And let's verify that. Yes, so that's good. All right, so now let's jump over to the um, uh, this router right here. It's just a 7200, and say configure and interface 0, /0 and say IP address 10.10.30.2. .10 say 255 and no shot, and then. One slash zero and say IP address one eighty two one sixty eight dot ten dot two five four and um this network one eighty two one sixty eight ten dot zero is my local network so that's why I have the the cloud device here just so we can give this a way to go out to the internet and so hit enter now shut. All right, so now what I want to do is uh, I want to um, I'm gonna I'm gonna enable the OSPF process on my on my home router, which I have next to me, and so router OSPF one, and we'll say interface gigabit interface gigabit uh one so zero slash one dot ten. And we're gonna say IP OSPF one area zero, and then also because I have a, um, a static route pointing to the to my internet provider, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna advertise the default router to my OSPF process. So I'm gonna say router OSPF one default default. Default information originate. Okay. So I should flood my default route to the to my other OSPF neighbors. So let's see. Do show IP OSPF neighbors and interface IP OSPF one area zero. That's our adjacency right there. And do show IP route. Alright, so we have the default route and we should be able to ping. Yes. Alright, so now let's jump over to the actually let me just double check that I activated it on the uh, interface pointing to the Palo Alto and show run interface zero slash zero. See, I didn't um, config uh, interface zero slash zero IP OSPF IP OSPF one area zero. 
Alright. So that's good. So now let's go over to the Palo Alto box. Not that one. And go over to the virtual routers. So we're gonna add an OSPF process. Gonna say enable, uncheck this box right here and the router ID is gonna be we're gonna, just gonna say 100 or 10.10.10.10 and so we're gonna add an area it's gonna be area 0 normal area and we're gonna say we're gonna enable on these interfaces or Interface. Oh, okay, so we need to add the the interfaces to the virtual router or okay, so there they are and OSPF, we're gonna say enable router ID and we're gonna say OK and then go back in OSPF, we're gonna add an area, it's gonna be area 0 and we're gonna add the interfaces OK and okay I'm gonna uncheck this box alright so that should take care of that and let's try and ping from this one and we should be able to ping 8.8.8.8 or okay so here's why the default gateway is under it was misconfigured so it should be 10.10.20.1 alright so let's say okay now we should be able to ping a that a that a that a okay so that's good all right so now if we try going to uh say indb.com we can so that's the say that's the website that we want to block and we're going to do it using a url filter so let's take a look at that All right. So first thing we want to do is that we're gonna we're gonna go on the objects and create a URL filtering. Say add a new one, and we're gonna say block INDB. And <clears throat> here we're gonna say INDB.com, or we could do we could use a wildcard mask and we're gonna say indb.com or indb star and the action is gonna be blocked so there's that <clears throat> and then 
we'll go on the network and create um actually let's go on the policies and add a new one and so we're gonna name it block INDB policy so the source is gonna be the trust zone and destination is gonna be any so let's just leave it as default and then and go over to the actions and here we're gonna specify the group and the group profile that we created or actually profiles and then in the URL filter we should be able to see the profile that we created which is block INDB and then okay are we missing something destination it's gonna be any say okay all right so that looks good say commit and now if we try to go to INDB again let's say we we got um we get a message saying web page blocked so that's how you go and get that situated um i guess that's all i wanted to show you for now i hope this will be informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing